In this lesson, we're going to look at how to use NIO to read from a buffer. What we're going to do is we're going to write a utility to recreate the type command in DOS that displays the contents of a file on the screen. So let's get started. And in doing that, we're going to demonstrate how to read data from a buffer. So we're going to call this type nio.java. First thing we do is import our files. Our main method has to throw io exception, so we'll make sure to include that. First thing we're going to do is create an int variable that will keep track of the size of the buffer. Next, we get our source file from the command line, like so. Then we create a file channel object. And here I'm going to drop down to the next line to finish this line. Now we're ready to work with the buffer. So we're going to put this inside a try. The class we're going to work with is byte buffer. And we're going to allocate a buffer of size 1024 to try to maximize our performance. And then inside the try will be a do while loop. Here's where we read into the buffer and store the size in count. If the size of the count is not equal to negative one, in other words, it'll be negative one if there's no data to read. Otherwise, there's data to read. First thing we want to do is rewind the buffer. It's an NIO method, rewind, which gets us back to the beginning of the buffer so that we can read from the beginning of its contents. So it's the first thing we do. Then we write a for loop. And here we're going to get a byte, excuse the expression, out of the buffer and print it. But to do that, we have to convert it to char, like so. And that's all we have to do. And again, we're going to do this while the count is not equal to negative one, while there's data to read in the buffer. And here we're going to catch any I.O. exceptions that may occur. We'll just write error reading file. And then we're finished, so we close off our two definitions. Save the file. Compile. And we'll type out the file that we copied in the last lesson. And it has a couple of method definitions in it left over from, looks like, our binary search tree programs. And there you see how we type out a file. So, working with buffers in NIO is very simple, very straightforward. We simply read the data from our source channel into the buffer. And then when we're ready to work with that data, we simply pull it out using the get method, cast it to char, and display it. And that's all we had to do. So that wraps up this lesson on working with buffers in NIO. Now we're going to move to the next lesson where we're going to talk about working with the file system with NIO.